Steve Cartiki, the Pattern Guys. We're in a pattern shop again. We're gonna try to finish up the tally hole project. We're on to the core box. All right, so this one we're gonna do a little bit unconventional. Usually what we do is when we glue up all the material, we'll put that material right on, you know, in one big glue up and we'll turn it all as one piece. This one, in order to pick up that little groove that we got in there in the side, what I did was I already glued up this piece right here, okay? And uh, you guys seen me glue stuff up before. I wanted to try to keep this project going, so that's why I just went ahead and, and uh, glued this thing up. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this out in the shape that I want it. Then what we're gonna do is, instead of making one big core box, like this, which would be really difficult for Clark to uh, handle. It's kind of an unnecessary side in that too. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make it in quarters, all right? And he'll make four cores and then step those around the outside of the core print to, uh, you know, make the one, one whole round part, okay? So it's just gonna be easier for him to make four pieces and it's only one off. If we were doing this like, they were making hundreds of these. We probably make this a solid core and it, they just have to do the one, one piece. But like I said, since we're only doing one of these, you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this into quarters and um, you know, he'll just set a quarter of it at a time. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the inside diameter. That's fixed, that's, that's the two radiuses, okay? That'll be the inside diameter. The outside diameter, is gonna be the outside of the core print. We can kinda make that whatever we need to make it, all right? Um, I'll show you the little details when we go. We wanna make it big enough where we could set the cores in the mold. We don't wanna make it too big because then Clark's gonna have to use a uh, real big flask and uh, you know, this is gonna be more cumbersome for him. All right, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this. Um, how I'm gonna get started with this and that, and uh, um, we'll just we'll just get it going here. All right, hang tight. Okay, I already got this ring set out, so I need to get a couple diameters on it. We need to get the inside diameter, and I need to get the outside. We're gonna put those on with trammels. As you can see here, there's just thin air here. I don't have anywhere to put the trammel points right in the middle to strike my arc, all right? So we're gonna take a sacrificial piece of wood, okay? We're gonna make sure it's in the center, all right? And that the wide, you know, if you can make a wider piece, it's the better, all right? Uh, try to put it in center the best we can. And it just needs to make sure it's in the center one way, okay? And let's go outside to see what we're at there. Cool, beautiful. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm going to make sure that I know where I had this, okay? Pencil's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna put an X. I'm gonna put an X here. X here, that way I know that's the side. And then we're gonna make sure we know where it's gonna go back. Okay. Jeez, oh man, this pencil lead's really crummy here. Go get a new pencil lead. Hang on a sec. All right, and I'm going to label this side too, just in case something happens. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath, make sure it stays on the marks, right? Go underneath. I'm going to get a line on this piece here. Okay, now I'm gonna go over the bandsaw. I'm gonna cut this out and I wanna try to leave it just a tad full. I'll leave the lines on there. That way we can pound this in. If you undercut it too short, you could just stick this in, put some Bondo in there, let it set for a little bit and then you can do that. Um, if you don't have the machinery in that too, that's another good way you could do it. Just cut this thing off and just mush it in both ends, put some Bondo on there and, and it's stuck, all right?
Okay, got my piece cut out. Uh, one of the tricks you can use too, I, I did leave a little much on this, so we'll, we'll see if we can jam it in there. Bevel the edge that you're putting in there, that way it's got, got a way to start. All right. That we uh, can get her started in there. Let's see how this goes. XX. Yeah, this is still pretty tight. Got to be careful too. You don't want to break your glue up. Hang tight. Let me go grab a hammer. All right, you want to have this flush with the top here too. Okay, so then next of all, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get the centers. All right, so let's go outside to outside. It's 20 inches, so 10 inches this way. All right, and we're 10 inches this way too. Okay, now this is just a rough center. All right, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get uh, centers both, uh, you know, 45s, and we'll have uh, 90 degrees um, centers on these things. Cause like I said, we're gonna make uh, quarter core box. So I need to be able to cut this in quarters. All right, so next of all, we get my trammels and do this. It's best too, if you have it and you can do it, use a piece of hardwood for this. Um, just don't have it right now. So it's uh, just using a piece of pine. I could drill a hole in this and use that center thing, but it's it's not that big of a deal. Okay. All right. So we'll get my inside dimension. This one I cut this one close. Oop, that one's really, really, really close. That's like the primo thing that you want to do. Let's have as little as sand out because this is just going to be pure sanding over on the uh, oscillating spindle sander. Something's going on here. Hang on, let me check this. Something moved on me there. Okay. There we go. Okay, next what we're going to do is I got to get centers on here, you know, crisscross centers. All right, because like I said, we're going to make these into quarters. All right, so the best way to do that, we got the center in here. We can go off of that for the one, right? We'll get that center going. And this is one of those things, too. It's like I said, this I, I did punch that hole in there pretty good. It's kind of not a good thing. Should have tried to find a piece of hardwood to use it. All right, so I got my 190 degree. Okay. Okay, I got the one line on there, so we need 90 degrees from that. All right, so we're going to use that old uh, arc uh, way to do this, okay? So I already have, what I'll do is I already have um, the outside di diameter on that one thing, so I'll just use those uh, marks for my, uh, you know, where I'm going from here, okay? Kind of made it a little easy. So what I gotta do is I gotta cut, we're gonna cut this in half and I'm gonna cut the half in a quarter again. All right, so in order to do that, I'm gonna lose some of the meat on the diameter of this 
corporan, okay? So that's uh, technically not a good thing, all right? Um, I'm gonna have to put this back together. So what'll happen is if I cut these in quarters, okay? Or cut the, the one half in quarters, and then I'm at the same two sides to get it good, all right, I gotta make sure it's a little, you know, I gotta make sure it's two sides, okay? So I gotta go a little bit to the one side. But what's gonna happen is when I put it back together, I already lost my saw cut. I'm gonna lose a little bit on sanding that straight in it, and we can't have that, okay? So what happens is if I just glue it together, just cutting this, it's gonna make that core print diameter smaller. And we can't have that because making the core stick off of this, it's gonna be where it's at, all right? So what we're gonna to have to do is, you know, the average saw cut on a bandsaw is like about 3.30 seconds-ish, okay? I got a little bit thicker of a blade in there right now. So what I'm gonna do is I need a pure one quarter on this. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta get another line over here, probably about 3 16 and another line over here, okay? That way I can sand to this perfect quarter, all right? So yes, well, that's good, but how am I gonna glue this back together and uh, make sure it's where it's at, okay? So what I'll do is I'm gonna make my lights, <coughs> excuse me, and then uh, I'm gonna show you a little trick, okay? And another thing when you do this too, make sure when I make my cuts, okay, one of them, I'm gonna go left to the one center line, right to the other one, I'll have my center lines, I'm gonna see into those center lines, okay, so I'll have them. The other end that I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut to one side of the center line also so that I can you know, maintain the center lines. I don't wanna get rid of my center lines. So there's a little trick I'll show you, hang tight. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna actually make a little bit of, uh, I'm gonna make another cut line, all right, so that when I get these um, things done, I know where I'm at, okay? So, like I said, it's about, I think it was like 3.30 seconds is the average saw blade. So I'm gonna go about 3 16 extra. That should give me enough for a bandsaw cut and a sander mark, okay. We hope <laughs> we can always we can always move it over if we need to, but that this should be good. All right. Okay. So if you guys can see this here, right here, I got two lines, okay? This is my real center line I wanna keep. Okay, this is gonna be where we're gonna sand to right here later so we can put this back in. I'm also, I'll just use this piece right here. So I need to make another 3 16 line over here so that I can have that one there. So I'll do the same thing. Okay, that way with this, I know I got a perfect quarter here. I don't need to, to mark that side because I'm just gonna leave this hole here. All right, so here's my good one that I want. All right, here's my outside. I'm just gonna leave this, uh, we're gonna cut this out inside and outside. I wanna try to leave this in here as much as I can. Um, I got that, we got this one. This is what I say too, just go over it, over it, over it. That way you make sure that you uh, remember where you're at here. Okay, okay, so what we're gonna do, the next thing we're gonna do is, I got these lines on here, but I got 3 16 of an inch gap now, okay, which isn't a good thing. So how do I, you know, gauge you know, that's 3 16 so when I put this back together, what we could do is 
I could measure, make sure it's three sixteenths of an inch, uh, but it's still kind of, that's, that's not a really accurate way to do it. And, and this way I'm gonna show you, it's kind of a little trick too. Um, the other thing we'll do too is on that parting block, we're gonna put this outside diameter too. We're gonna do a little bit of redundancy with this. And I'll make sure that, you know, I wanna make sure 100% that when I send this to Clark's, it's not coming back here, okay? You know, we're, we're, I'm behind on this thing, way behind on this thing already, and we just don't have time for it to come back in that. So I just wanna make sure it's, it's, it's where it's gotta be. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple of little redundant uh, um, steps here to make sure that when we put this all back together, it's gonna go back exactly where it's at. Okay, so the trick I'm gonna show you is in between these uh, marks here, these 3 16th marks, okay? These 3 16th marks, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a 3 8 drill bit and I'm gonna drill two holes right in the middle of those, okay? And the reason I'm gonna do that is when we put this back together, I'm gonna be able to take a 3 quarter inch piece of dowel, I'm sorry, it won't be 3 quarter, 3 8 piece of dowel, and I'll be able to put those two in there in, in, that'll meet there and it'll keep that, that gap for me, okay? And then we'll fill in with Bondo, but that way I, I'm getting back to exactly where it's at, you know? So let me get that done and I'll show you what, what it looks like when I get it done, okay? Okay guys, I sanded off the uh, draft on the outside of the core print and then here's the holes that I made, okay? So there's my 3 16 gap and then you'll see I'll be able to locate with these holes in a piece of dowel that'll locate perfectly back together when I put this back together. All right, that, that's why you do this like that. It's, you know, you could, and I am going to on the, I'm going to pour plastic. Um, the goal, what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna get a quarter, that true quarter piece. <clears throat> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the uh, pattern itself mounted on the uh, board that we have, I'm gonna board that we cut out, I'm gonna have that mounted on there. Then I'm gonna shove this quarter piece in there, we're gonna pour plastic, and then we'll get that inside shape on there, okay? And that's gonna be the core stick, okay? And then this is all gotta go back together, okay, after we're done making a core box out of that one quarter core piece, okay? So that's the goal. Um, Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the inside of this thing done and then uh, sand the inside out and then uh, we'll start cutting this apart and getting it ready to pour plastic, all right?
Okay guys, this is over on us like spindle sander. I got the inside uh, turned out here. Let's see if it fits. If it fits, it feels loose. Uh, a little looser than I thought or want it, but it'll work, okay? So uh, next step, what I'm gonna do is I mark these out for my quadrants. Um, last night I was thinking about it. That's yeah, one of the things I always do. I'm always uh, got stuff on my mind, made another error, but we didn't, it, you know, we're not that far into it. So I really don't need to cut this thing in three pieces, which is a good thing, all right? All I need to do is cut that one quarter out because this fit over the top of it. I had it in my head that I had to like slide it in sideways, not over the top. So, you know, that's gonna be cool. So it's gonna make this core print a little stronger. And then this is where I was saying uh, before, you know, technically, if I was going to do this piece, if we're going to make hundreds of these, I'd make this core print right, you know, into the uh, the core, uh, right into the, this whole pattern. The core print would have been integrated into the pattern, okay, you know, to make it stronger. But, like I said, I think this was going to be the easier way because I'm going to pour uh, part of this, what I could have done, I could have made a dummy inside and that just, it, it was just easier this way. Okay. And like I said, we're only going to do one of these hopefully. And, um, yeah, I, I think this was the easier way to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut, uh, this quadrant out, then I'm going to sand it. And then I got a lot of prep work to do before we get going on, uh, pouring a plastic here. Okay. So when we're cutting the groove over on the, um, mill over there, I, I was a little bit big, which I want a little play there. I can't have that when I pour the plastic, uh, cause the plastic will just go down into that groove and fill full of plastic. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead of, uh, wax around. We're going to scrape that off. That should fill that hole in and you will know, stop anything from going down into that, uh, groove that we made. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, uh, We'll have the ends. I'm gonna have to cut two pieces of wood out that's gonna fit like in the inside. And then we'll probably just take clay and clay all that up, okay? And then I'll, sh I'll show you all the prep as we're going along. Um, and then once we uh, pour the core uh, print, then we'll get on the core box. It shouldn't, shouldn't be much longer here. So uh, it, it's going along pretty good. Um, We'll get her get her done in a, a day or two here, hopefully, I'm hoping. So hopefully get this thing wrapped up and uh, sent out to Clark here. So, all right, let me get on, on doing some prep, all right? Okay guys, last night I got uh, this waxed up now. We got a coat of varnish on this, um, coat of lacquer, I'm sorry. Um, what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna cut that one quarter out of the uh, core stick or the core print, which will become a core stick. All right, and then we'll, uh, I'll show you how to prep it, ready to pour or try to pour this thing in a, in a short, short minute here. So, all right, hang tight guys. Okay guys, I got my quadrant. This should be perfect, hopefully. 
Um, if not, you know, Clark can always dust a little bit off. And if it's a little short, it's got a little crack in there, you can fill it with some sand, okay? So here I put a, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this in the middle. So I put a little slot there. We're gonna pour in here and um, hopefully this this will vent out okay so what we're going to do here now is we're going to mount this on here i got to grease this up first grease this up well first i'm going to put on these ends we got a void in there so what i got to do is on each end i got to put like a stop on there so that when i pour the plastic it doesn't come out okay so i'm going to do that first and once i get that done then we're gonna wax everything up, <clears throat> you know, mount this on there, and then we're gonna pour it plastic, okay? Hang tight, guys. Okay, I got the uh, quadrant sticking on the uh, block here, the parting block, and it, it's in the location where it's gotta be at. So I made one of these for each side, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I could have made this thing perfect on the oscillating spindle sander and that, but that would have taken a little bit of time. Plus, you guys don't, you know, a lot of you guys aren't gonna have oscillating spindle sanders that. So just do it a little bit bigger. I greased up that little spot where these are gonna go in. I'm gonna put some Bondo on the end of these things and just mush it in. That way it's gonna be perfect, okay? So that's an easy way for you guys to do it, you know, that doesn't have the equipment, all right? Wow, that didn't take much at all. I thought that was gonna take a lot more than that. Oh well, it's full. Um, sucks wasting the plastic, but that'll be good. So, one this hardens a little bit, let it sit for a couple hours, harden, we'll take it apart and see what we got. Okay guys, there you go. Here's the uh, inside of the core. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna make a frame and uh, start making a core box, okay? Okay, I got the uh, core stick all uh, cleaned up, ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is what we want is this interior side right here, okay? That's gonna make that groove, all right, inside the, uh, casting so what i'm going to do is we're going to mount uh temporarily mount this to a piece of plywood and then i gotta come up with the uh what we're going to do is permanently have a piece of wood up in here and then i'm going to pour plastic off of this too okay that way uh we'll have the exact imprint of what this is okay and this is exactly what the core or one quarter of the core is going to look like all right and then, you know, hopefully uh, Clark will only have to make four of these, uh, make a mold, set all four of these in the mold, and pour his casting and get a good casting, number one, and then, you know, hopefully that'll be it, you know. We'll see how it goes, so. All right, let's get to it. Okay, everybody, I uh, lost you guys for a little bit. Uh, batteries died, haven't been paying attention to things. Um, I, I haven't been feeling too good, so I'm kind of not all there here right now. So uh, anyhow, <clears throat> what, what I ended up doing, I got this part of the core box made, okay? This is gonna be 
uh, where it's at. All right, so then now we got the core stick. Okay, the core stick, say it again, is gonna be exactly what the core is gonna look like, right? So we're gonna stick that in there. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap in there. We're gonna pour a plastic in there, okay? And what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us the inside shape of the core, all right? The outside shape, that's just a 10 degree angle on here. I could probably just take the piece of wood that I'm gonna put there and just go ahead and sand the, um, it just go ahead and sand it on there. Uh, you know, you could do that, but since I'm pouring the one plastic, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that one ready and then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour uh, both sides. That way I don't have any issues because I, I wanna be able to send this down to Clark and hopefully him having no issues with this thing, okay? Um, you know, that way it is where it's at. It, it should be the same thing here. So, um, you know, if I just seen it, I might be off a little bit or something and, and that. But, I mean, if you do it this way, it should be exactly where it's at. Uh, a couple dollars worth of plastic, not a big deal. Okay, so next step is I'm going to grab this piece here. All right, and then we're going to make a uh, real scribe the inside here to get the angle. Um, I get, this is a little bit short, so I gotta watch where I'm at here. Okay, normally what I do is, I'll go ahead and put another knife line in here, because uh, this, it, it's, it's got a point on it, but it doesn't cut into wood good. This is good for metal, but it, it kinda tears the wood. So uh, what I always do is take my knife, and then we get a better, better, more distinct line on here. And if you can remember, I say the reason why we use this knife is when we're over there on the sander, as you're sanding, you know exactly that wood starts peeling away, and all of a sudden it stops peeling away, so you know where you're at, where you're at, okay? So that's why we use the knife. All right. All right, I'm gonna go cut this out on a bandsaw, sand it, and then we're gonna have to cut the inside, okay? Okay, guys, I got my last piece made here. Um, this is going to be a loose piece. We're going to have to cut it down towards the end, but I'm going to go ahead and pour this first. If you noticed, in the inside piece of this too, um, unlike <clears throat> this piece, when I poured this plastic, I just went ahead and poured the plastic right against the uh, mahogany here. Um, normally what you do is drill some holes or you know, take a router, put some slots in there, something for this plastic to hold into. However, we're going to pour this core box off of this core stick, and then what's going to happen with this core stick, it's going to go into the pattern, and it's, you know, this, this has no structural meaning to it whatsoever. Okay, so that's why I didn't bother, you know, taking an extra step and drilling holes in this thing, because it's, it means nothing structurally, okay? Um, <clears throat> this, however, you know, even though we only have to do, uh, you know, hopefully four cores off of this thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a drill, drill some holes in here before we pour the plastic on this thing. That way the uh, plastic will, you know, hopefully set in there a little bit better, okay? So I'm going to do that, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this set, and I'm going to start greasing this uh, core stick up. Then I got to mix plastic and everything, and then I'll show you when we're ready to pour. Okay, got that poured up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it sit for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the outside, you know, get that to the shape I want it. It's no big deal. It's just gonna be whatever it is. Um, then after that, we're gonna take the core stick out, give her a paint coat of uh, lacquer or two, and the core box will be done. Then we'll get on to finishing up the pattern, getting it done, and then we should be able to pack it up and get it out to Clark.
Okay, got this poured up. We got the uh, plastic cut down to the height, what we needed. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this over the bandsaw and we're just going to cut it out. It doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. Uh, just trying to make it small enough. We got to ship this too in that. So, uh, what I'll do is go ahead and cut this, uh, trim it down, make it a little smaller, easier for Clark to handle. And then, um, core box will be done minus painting i'm just going to varnish it all right and then what we'll start doing i'll get the uh, core print all the way around the pattern and we'll get that finished up Okay, let's crank this part, get the core stick out of it, and then this should be done. Okay guys, I just actually whacked this a couple times. I was gonna go get some wedges. Just whacked it a couple times. There's a loose piece here. All right, let's see if we can get this out of here. Uh, a lot of times that's all it takes. It's just a couple little smacks, and you can get it. And sometimes not, too. Okay, there, guys. We got a uh, core stick out. Got the core box. Got a little bit of cleanup to do on it yet, but got some dust in there. That's the inside shape. Okay, we'll clean it up, like I said. Got to get this extra stuff off here. That's that. And then this loose piece. Go on there, we gotta pin this on here yet. Yeah, it probably should have pinned that before we uh, took this all apart, but we'll get it. Put some pins in there or something for a little locator. And uh, that'll be your core box here, okay? All right, guys, let's start working on the pattern again. Um, keep on forgetting to turn the cameras on this session here. Okay, so what I ended up doing was, if you remember, we actually drilled these holes here, all right, for um, when we cut that piece out of that core print, okay? So what that did was it, it's allowing me to put that exactly where that was, okay? And I really wish I had the camera on to show um because what happened was like when i cut that that whole thing actually sprung and, and tightened up you know so if i would have just went ahead and, and glued that together or put it where i thought you know we would have that that whole core print would have been smaller all right and then when it get down to clark's you know things wouldn't work okay so with that you know i got this in I uh, got it where it was. This is exactly where it was when we first started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next time or next is I'm gonna put Bondo in here. All right, in the cracks. Uh, we'll let that harden, clean that up. Um, then what I gotta do is I gotta Bondo all the way around it too, because uh, there's a little bit of a crack there too. So I'll just Bondo it. Uh, fill that hole up and then just uh, um, so anyhow all I got to do is just uh, you know do some finishing on this guys you've seen me do that stuff a lot of times um, then with the core box core box is all done minus I got a little bit of sanding to do on it and then I'm going to paint it or just put a coat of varnish on it one of the things I should do Two I could do should put like a handle back here so you know Clark can pull this in and out and we actually should put a couple battens on here too because yeah I was like them up off the ground <coughs> or not off the ground but off off the table here uh, but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave those off I'll let him put them on if he wants to because like I said I gotta ship this thing in that and it, it'll just you know uh, 
cut down on the size of it and that for the shipping and that so so that's pretty much all we got to do wrap it up um let's go ahead and do that stuff off camera you see me do it a hundred times just bondoing and uh you know doing some sanding and then once i uh varnish everything i'll uh let you show or i'll turn the cameras back on and i'll show you all what it looks like you know before we ship it out all right we'll see you in a bit Okay, everybody, I got these uh, all varnished up, ready to go. Um, core box, loose piece, all right. Made a couple pins <clears throat> to pin this where it's gonna uh, stay tight when he's packing it in, okay? And then it'll keep it in location a little bit. This V-groove will keep it in there a little bit too. All right, so there's your uh, core box. And then here's the pattern. Um, like I said, usually we make uh, just master patterns out of mahogany and that. But here, um, kind of doing a thing uh, with this too. Like a lot of bow parts are made out of mahogany and everything. So maybe I said, I don't know what the guy's gonna do with this thing after it's done. He needs it one time. So chuck it in the wall or, uh, you know, make a keepsake out of it or whatever, you know. <clears throat> and then don't forget on top of that, we had to make a parting block. So there's my parting block here. The old pattern goes right on and then uh, Clark should have no issue molding this thing up hopefully uh, see how he does on it and that but um, you know that's that project it was a little bit timely one but it's uh, it, it was a little bit a little difficult of a project it wasn't an easy straightforward one so um, that's this project uh, got a couple other things booming again I got a Another motorcycle project we got to get going. Um, I'm going to try to answer some of the questions from some of the comments. Keep the comments coming. Appreciate them. Um, like I said, there's just a lot of them now, so I'm probably not going to be able to, uh, you know, type them out and answer them. It'll take me forever. It takes me about an hour to do a sentence. So um, <clears throat> we're, we're going to try to do some qu question answering uh, videos. Um, I got a video coming up too. A lot of people were asking me about the. Uh, um mouse how to make the mice the, the mouse for uh, scribing lines and that so we're gonna uh next video out we're gonna do that um got a couple other things i've got a couple people i've been asking if i could tour their places and you know we got to go ahead to do some tours i want to do those but the thing is just work right now and that i don't have a set schedule yet yet at work so I'm kind of on a training schedule and I'm hopping like crane to crane to crane to crane. So I'm not, you know, it, it once uh, my, my schedule keeps on changing. So I don't know where I'm going to be from one day to the next. So it's, uh, it's a little difficult for me there. So we'll, we'll, we'll get some tours going. I got some neat places to go visit. Um, anyhow, with that, I appreciate all the new, uh, new guys we got um that has subscribed all new subscribers that's awesome if you guys haven't subscribed i appreciate it if you would subscribe like i said what we're trying to do with this channel is we're trying to teach people the old way of doing things keep it alive keep it going i think there's a need for it you know cnc stuff is great but you know here and there it's uh you know, you gotta learn that old stuff too, you know? So, and, and it's just something, it, it's just to, you know, keep the craft alive. And, and it's a thing too, uh, we'll, we'll explain it down the road a little more one time, but it's uh, it, it's really, you know, it, it's good for your soul to do things with your hands. It really is. So you wanna keep that going and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to keep it going, but I need subscribers. So like I said, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. All the subscribers that have subscribed, you know, appreciate it. Hit the like button. That helps me out too. And with that, everybody have a good one out there and stay safe.